Happy days, folks. We've got a blue canvas, blue acrylic painted canvas. Nice and dry down at the bottom. At the top, I've just put a little bit of linseed oil. I've got titanium white, Prussian blue, and a touch of cadmium red. Okay, and I'm just going to float in a little bit of this white all over the top half of the canvas. Just going to paint a nice little... I'm, I'm thinking of a like a, a, a lake, some somewhere where I'd like to go fishing. Don't go fishing much now. Stick to the art. But um, I do I do like fishing. And I think this is going to be somewhere where I'd like to go fishing. So very little white paint up there. Okay. All over the shop. Just like so. Now. Ditch the brush, grab a tissue, lint-free tissue, okay, and rub the thing completely and utterly as hard as you can, okay. Get all the oil, get all the paint off, if you can, okay, like that. The stain is still there, okay. Just dab the brush on that same towel, okay, I'm going to take a touch of the blue, okay, just a touch of the blue, and to offset that, a little bit of the red. And we'll go into the white as well. I'll just use these sky colours first and then I'll clear the palette and then we'll put some paints on so we can do the, the rest of the composition, okay? If it's looking too red, go into the blue. If it's looking too blue, go into the red. You know what to do, folks, okay? Start in the corner and let's just hit the canvas, okay? And because I haven't mixed it properly, you'll get all sorts of streaks of different colours in there. But the pale colour... That's on the canvas, okay. We'll start to lighten these colours, pastel them off, make them look very, very pretty, okay. And as we get down towards the horizon and less paint is on the brush, and we use virtually no paint, okay. Virtually no paint. We just want to stain the canvas, really, like so. And we get down to the odds the horizon, it'll get paler and paler as we go along, okay? Very, very thin film of paint on there, okay? So in places it looks grey, in places it looks blue, in places it looks like it's got a little bit of a, a peachy colour going on as well, okay? Take off all the brush strokes like that, okay? There we go, up and down, side to side, just like so. Right, so I think that's the base colour of the sky done. We're going to do some clouds. I'm going to fetch you up to the canvas. So before I fetch you up to the canvas, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Happy days. Right then, this is just white paint on a fan brush. Now, it won't stay white. As soon as I touch the canvas, we're going to get different colors going in there and you can see all the different colors that we've previously laid down so i just want a little bit of like white color on there but again it won't stay white for long okay and we'll just throw a few of these in just like that a little bit like so okay a bit there like that Look at the variation in that white paint there. I'm just going to take this soft brush and I'm just going to tease the base of it. Just the base. Don't really want to touch the top, if I can help it. And I touch the base and I float them out like that and just blend that in. That's why the linseed oil is so, so vital at this point. Get rid of some of those excess airs there. Okay, once we've done that, I'm just going to slightly just touch up and just tease the tops of the clouds there, like that. That's it. So I want another one round about here at this side. So again, a little bit more white, just float that in. And we needed to blend this one first before we started putting anything in there. So it'd stand out, you know, sharp top edge there. A lot of paint, just wiggle the brush and let it dance. And make it go into the painting like so. Like that. Back to this soft brush. 
back to this soft brush and we'll just tease 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 i still keep getting that gold gear i don't want to clean the brush just yet because the the natural bristles and everything that well or poorly made brushes i don't know they all fall apart but it's what we do with them that matters isn't it it's what we do with them that matters okay where we get a bit more build up of paint very lightly very lightly go across there we go and then just <laughs> Plagued by brush hairs today, folks. So you can see I've just basically moved the paint about and created some hills. This is the same colours that I've used for the sky, but you can just push the paint about to create these nice little hills down there. Now, I've taken a very pale green colour and I've sketched in roughly where I want the, the river to be or the lake to be. So we want some trees right far over on this side. So I'm going to put some little colors over here so very pale greeny yellowy kind of colors just a few uh we don't know what kind of trees we've got yet uh and we'll change the color of that as well we don't want it all one dead flat color maybe a bit more of the the pale green this is an olive green oil paint that i'm using with a little bit of indian yellow and white and we can come back in and touch some of this up to get some really neat looking trees back here the far away so you can't pick out individuals but don't want them too strong whilst they'll jump too close to us okay so with all these wonderful colors on the canvas now all the greens and i've highlighted one side with yellows darkened it off with a bit of umber i'm just going to take this lint free rag and just try and smudge and remove as much of that paint as I can. I just want to pale it off. You'll see the paint coming off there. And then we we'll move on to the next tree. And if you use it all crinkled up, you still get some of that texture from the from the rag going in there. It takes off all the high spots of oil paint and makes it look a little bit more far away a bit more pastel -y, a bit more paler the things that are far away are not as vivid they're a bit more paler there we go i've just thrown in some water just down here just a bit of the sky color and i'm just going to put in uh loosely where some big kind of Weeping willow trees are going to live. Um, I quite like that little bit of hill in the background. But we'll put these in. And I've got another one there. We may have a, a couple of evergreens sticking up through there. Give the variety of, of foliage as well. Just going to grab a bit more of the yellow. This is Indian yellow. I'm mixing with olive green and a bit of umber. Okay. Uh, we will tease this all together. Uh, we will make it look like individual little uh, leaves and stuff. But I just want to get some base colour down there. Let's get a bit more of the darker colours in. A little bit more umber in that. Just there. Like so. Big weeping willow. I love the weeping willows. And there's lots of them on the river bank where I live. And of course, we'll have some reflections in the water. This is all dry, remember. So we can work on that later. Okay. okay. What I've done is I've just wiped off the colour that I put on underneath. And that's where you can see that stain there on the canvas. Then I've just taken some more colour and just put on the individual leaves or branches. And, and we can bring them back out now on a, on a liner brush. Now, I haven't thinned out any of this paint. I haven't put any oil on or anything like that. But there's a very thin layer of paint actually on on the canvas and what we'll do is we'll we'll pick out some of the dark spots just want to show you for for demo reasons just just pick out the dark spots and maybe there's a bit of a gap in there like that and vary the colors as well vary the darks vary the the lights and stuff and creeps up with it there Grab a bit of the 
yellows like this different different brush and we can put some of this in and then what we'll do once i've got all this in place we'll come back and we'll just very lightly and very gently blend i'll just rub the blender brush right over the top just one pass no more and then you get this nice effect where it'll look like the the leaves are blowing in the wind all right that's looking a bit too flat there so we'll put a bit more color in that in a minute we'll have a bit more color and we'll, we'll put some shadow in there a bit there as well comes over like that right let's grab let's grab the blender okay make sure it is dry and clean and then just very lightly just ever so lightly go in the direction of the branches there like so and just tease it all together you just want to distort you don't want to really move the paint just distort it a little bit and it comes around there like that i might throw a bit more color onto that one onto that branch there but we'll just see what it looks like in a minute and just bring it down into the shadows like that cool like so right i think we're gonna put a little bit of a beach down here. it's not a beach it's a bit of mud where the water meets the land okay just a little bit of whatever color this is it's a mixture look at the state of the palette <laughs> yes um just a bit of everything really just put it in there really push it in with this i love this uh filbert brush windsor and newton filbert brush number it is uh, i don't know uh six should anyone care i don't know right so we put that in and then the land's going to be on top so the, the, we're going down down into the uh to the fishing spot okay so just there like that okay uh, you may notice I've put a little bit of a fence over there. It needed something. I'm going to put an evergreen tree, but I think a fence does it justice. Okay, uh, grab a bit more umber, I think, and we'll just put some different shades in there, like so. Don't have to go too crazy. I want some of that blue canvas to show through, like that. Just dabs and dots of some colours down there, some little stones and little rocks and whatever's washed up on the river bank. There we go. This is the brush that I just painted the the uh, the fence in. So put a few light ones on and then picked up a little dark colour like that. Yeah. There. So let's concentrate on some foliage down here now. Okay, let's take a cloth lint three tissue old fan brush i've plowed lots of different greens down there blacks and browns as well and i'm just gonna fluff up and make all this look very very grassy okay i've painted grass all kinds of different ways i think this is the best way that i've found because you get lots of variants of color as well and when you get a saturation of paint in your brush just just wipe it clean okay and we'll take the lights into the darks and the darks into the lights and there we go straight over there the gap there and if you want a bit more extra color you can just reach down to the palette and give yourself some color we will put lots of grasses with the uh, the liner brush at some point when towards the end of the composition and i think we could do with a couple of reeds and bulrushes and stuff like that and i think we might need another post just to equalize them 
fences up there but just for now just just look how we're cutting through the paint cutting through some of that canvas will show through as well which is all right because we painted it a nice blue color there we go let's just keep doing this so we get the desired effect not just one plain dead flat color all right you can see i've put another fence there i'm going to draw your attention down to this bottom left corner i think we're going to have some rushes and stuff like that so uh liner brush really thinned out oil paint and we're going to start just by flicking and curving now it may look like i'm doing big circles but i'm not only a portion of that that uh, circle that radius is touching the canvas okay and we'll go one way and then eventually i will i like it to go this way because it, it leads your eye inwards but you will need to put some on the other direction as well or it'll look like the wind is very 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 windy uh, but of course it's not so a couple of colors of course we'll darken it we'll lighten it just throw those there like that like so get all that grassy stuff in thinned out again but this is just dark color this is black ivory black and once you've done a stroke move don't keep doing the same stroke in the same spot it'll all end up going mushy and we don't want mushy grass do we there we go like that might come back and put some yellowy colored ones on as well let's take the knife and i've just cut some of that that paint that green paint off and i'm going to just run a straight line just down there okay and we might put another one on as well maybe it's there a bit of a crook on it that one okay we'll give him a third one <laughs> uh maybe a little bit taller there like that okay and of course we'll neaten that up with more blades of grass but what i want to do is get the liner brush so we've got the liner brush and we've got dark brown on one side and light brown on the other just need to find a place where we're going to put it and we're going to put one of these uh greater reed mazes so i'm just going to pull that down and it looks there like that Okay, so we've got a bit of a highlight and a shadow from this double loaded brush. This is just on this liner brush. Like so, and another go. So again, a bit more of the brown, a bit more of the light colour. This will break this, this bank there, which is good. Like so, like that. Okay, now all we need to do now is just put some bits and pieces down here. And we're getting close to finishing this picture. Well, I have enjoyed painting this painting and if you have enjoyed watching, please like the video, leave me a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. Until next time, take care you said, stay safe, happy days.